Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you after these two, I might just be seeing ghosts. Dark Apparition is a 10.5% Russian Imperial Stout, and Bourbon Barrel Dark Apparition is a 12.8% Bourbon Barrel Aged Russian Imperial Stout from Jackie O's in Athens, Ohio. A few weeks back, I drove down to Ohio to pick up some beer. Ironically, uh, I've, it was all Indiana beer except for this Jackie O's beer. Now, Jackie O's is in Athens, Ohio. I haven't been able to make my, my way down there yet, but they're a brewery that I've always heard so many great things about, especially their stouts. So I went to a local place in Toledo, found they had Dark Apparition and they had the Bourbon Barrel Age Dark Apparition on the shelves pretty much right next to each other. And I knew that was just something that I'd want to bring to you guys to share. I mean, how many times do you get to try the base beer and you get to try the bourbon barrel aged beer and they're, they're both at the same time. These are both year round beers. They're not a seasonal beer. It's not a seasonal release. It's not a special release. This is just something that they do all year round. So like I said, I was just really kind of excited to try them side by side, do a little head to head and bring them to you guys at the same time. So we're going to take a look at the label from each one of these beers. We're going to take a look at the regular Dark Apparition first, then we'll take a look at the Bourbon Barrel Aged version. And just off the bat, you know, price-wise, it was $11.99 for a four-pack of the Dark Apparition, and it was $11.99 for a single bottle of this Bourbon Barrel Aged older brother, I guess, bigger brother. So let's take a look at the labels here. On the front, we have uh, Sustainably Crafted with Purpose. It has Jackie O's. The O is a barrel with a tap handle on it, almost like a cask. And it says Dark Apparition Russian Imperial Stout with a, uh, I'm not really sure exactly what this is on the label, but we'll take, we'll read it and maybe it'll tell us. On the label itself, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in any of the stuff that I'm going to show you, any of the close-ups, but what you can see is the face that's on the can, the face that's on the figure on the can. You can also see in the background of the can, just, it's a really cool effect. It just kind of fades in there. We have the government warning. And then it says, Dark Apparition, the hauntingly good brew in your hand is rife with dark complexities, a monolithic maltiness and decadent notes of dark chocolate, toasted caramel, and rich coffee have made this hallowed stout a cult classic to, since 2007. Share Dark Apparition with friends and family and celebrate the eerily spirited history of Athens, Ohio. This is 12 fluid ounces. It's 10.5% alcohol by volume. Then if we take a look at the bourbon barrel aged version it's the same figure on the front the the ghastly kind of figure but this time he's in gold it has jackie o's same logo but it's outlined in this gold kind of uh, embossing and it says bourbon barrel dark apparition stout aged in bourbon barrels then on the side it says the hauntingly good brew in your hand is rife with dark complexities a monolithic maltiness and decadent notes of dark chocolate toasted caramel and rich coffee have made this hallowed stout a cult classic for the ages for 8 to 12 months, Dark Apparition waited patiently in oak barrels until the time was right to spring forth with its ghostly gusto. A truly decadent brew that is intended to be poured into your favorite snifter and given time to warm up from its dark and cool resting place. Then on the side, it says sustainably crafted with purpose, has brewed and bottled by Jackie O's in 2020. This is the 2020 version. Jackie O's Pub and Brewery, 25 Campbell Street, Athens, Ohio, 45701, JackieO's.com and it's 12.8% alcohol by volume. Yeah, and on the top, the, the bottle cap is the same barrel with the handle. So I'm gonna pour this one second, let it warm up a little bit longer. I pretty much just took it out of the fridge. It hasn't been out for too long. So hopefully that doesn't make, you know, doesn't really sway my opinion too much, but I'll tell you what I think of each one. I'm gonna use the same kind of Belgian snifter style glass for each beer. And like I said, I'm going to start with just regular Dark Apparition. All right, so let's go ahead and crack this one open. Like I said, no brood on date, but this is a year-round release, so I'm not thinking that I'm getting some kind of crazy, uh, you know, in the middle of the season kind of beer. And we're going to take a nose and sniff out of the can. Has a lot of roasty, malty notes in there. But I'm not really picking up on much besides that. Let's go ahead and pour it. Very dark coming out of the can. Collecting the glass again, very dark. The head is a little bit more of a, more of like a tan, maybe a darker tan, almost khaki. 
Uh, it's not coffee colored, so it's not super dark, but it is definitely not like a light off-white kind of color. It's about a finger's worth of head, and uh, holding up to the light, it's very dark, uh, very, you know, very opaque. Sometimes in the bulb of these glasses, that's where I really look to see if I can see of a, uh, some kind of hint of a color. No hint of color. I mean, the only thing I can maybe pick up is a little bit of a dark, really deep, dark brown. Like it's there. There's no other kind of coloration through there. Sometimes you see a crimson or like a reddish hue to it, but this is totally dark. Getting a little bit on the nose of the glass, I'm getting more of a notes of chocolate, a little bit of a roasted malty kind of aroma in there. Russian Imperials kind of set themselves apart because I, I, I want to say they have a little bit more of kind of like this really, really super dark chocolate note to them. Um, maybe a little bit of a sweet aroma, or I'm sorry, a sweet taste in there. But yeah, so I am getting a bit of a sweet aroma coming out, but it's also very chocolatey, very malty. And I'm going to go ahead and open this Jackie O's uh, bur uh, bourbon barrel aged. It always throws me off because it's called bourbon barrel dark apparition. And I want to say it's Bourbon barrel aged dark apparition, but that's not technically what it's called. And it's this bottle that all the stuff in here today has been really sweating hardcore. Let's go ahead and crack this. Set that to the side and put a nose on the bottle. I'm getting a lot more of the bourbon kind of characteristics. It's almost like this, um, almost like a coconut kind of aroma. But yeah, big. Uh, Big bourbon notes out of the bottle itself. Let's go ahead and pour it. It's coming out actually a little bit darker than the can version, the regular, you know, straight down the pipe version, normal, I guess, version, and uh, the vanilla version, if if you will. And um, yeah, the head is a lot less substantial. It's about half a finger. I uh, may have been a little bit distracted on the pour, but it seems like it's not really, it's not nearly as heady as the other one, but the head is a lot more of that kind of dark khaki, almost coffee colored head, and, but there's not a lot of it. It's really a pretty thin head. Let's go ahead and hold it uh, up. Let's hold it up to the light and then I'll smell it. Same kind of deal, same dark characteristics. Sometimes bourbon barrel aged beers can kind of thin out a little bit. Sometimes they're a little bit lighter. You can maybe see a little bit light, pa more light passes through it. More of a color comes through, but the same kind of dark brown characteristic. Not, a, not any kind of crimson, reddish, uh, dark brown hue on the bottom. It is just looks dark. It looks like a dark brown, black beer. I would almost say black, but I think it's really deep, super deep dark brown rather than black. And I think the same thing with the original version. Yeah, getting a lot of, um, I'm getting more of a, like a dark fruit aroma, a, a, obviously a bourbon barrel aged aroma in there as well. Getting more of that kind of bourbon barrel characteristic. And it's almost kind of a little bit more overpowering. Um, that bourbon barrel, oaky barrel aroma is more overpowering than any other kind of aroma that's in there. So it's hard to say that you're kind of getting the same similar thing because I'm not really getting much of a shared note between these two just because that bourbon barrel eight, um, aroma comes through so much more. So I'm going to start with Dark Apparition, the uh, what 10.5% stout. So that's nothing to sneeze at. And this is 12.8%, I believe is what it says. Yeah, 12.8. So I'm going to start with the regular version here first. Wow, lots going on there. The mouth feels, it's medium, it's not super, it's a little bit, I guess there is a little bit of a thickness to it, but it's not super thick, it's not syrupy, it's not um, overpowering, it's got a nice mouthfeel to it, a nice, what you would expect from a stout. It's not too thin, it doesn't remind you of kind of like that porter territory. So you're getting a, a nice mouthfeel, but it's not too much. The flavors that are coming through here, the thing I'm noticing really from the start to the finish is a lot of smoky, roasty malts. That's really what's what I'm getting a lot. Just kind of very, very forward in your face. On the aftertaste, I'm getting a little bit more of a smoke, a little bit more of a roasty flavor in there. I'm getting a lot of chocolate. It's got a nice kind of sweet undertone. So you get a lot of dark chocolate, but you also get a little bit of a milky, sweeter kind of chocolate. Um, a lot of 
uh, dark fruit flavors in there as well. A lot of roasty, smoky, malty characteristic in there too. Uh, on the aftertaste as I talk, I kind of pick up an additional flavor. A little bit more of that smokiness comes through. A little bit more of a smoky, roasty kind of characteristic. And then we're going to jump into the bourbon barrel aged version here. I know I already smelled it, but again, a little bit of a... It's like a sweeter chocolate that I, I said coconut coming out of the bottle, but that's kind of subsided and it's that bourbon is in there, but it smells like a little bit more of a sweeter chocolate. Let's go ahead and try it out. Cheers. Getting a lot of bourbon, a lot of a bourbon characteristic in there, getting a bit of a sweet molasses flavor in there. A little bit more of that dark fruit comes through. It comes through a little bit more on that. There's a little bit more of an oaky, smoky um, barrel characteristic. So I'm getting a little bit more of the barrel. Obviously, I'm getting the barrel out of this one. I wasn't getting it, but it, you know, you're getting the bourbon flavor, the molasses, but also a little bit of that smoky, oaky barrel flavor as well. While the bourbon, you know, flavor characteristic is in there, it's not overpowering. Um, it is, it, you kind of ride on to all the flavor on top, you kind of ride this bourbon flavor the whole way through. Um, but I do feel like it's not over, it's not heavy, it's not like too much, but I feel like what I'm almost getting exclusively is the bourbon, is the oak, uh, the smoky oak barrel flavor uh, characteristic. I'm not getting so much of what makes this a really good stout on its own. I'm not getting a lot of that chocolate flavor that I get in the regular version. I'm not getting a lot of that, you know, just roasty, smoky flavors that I really liked out of this. I'm getting a lot more. The bourbon is almost riding on top of all of it. So it's it's the flavor from front to start that you're getting a lot more of the bourbon, a lot more of that oaky characteristic, but you're not getting a lot of the undertones that make Dark Apparition on its own a really good, tasty kind of stout. Yeah, with this one, I'm getting, like I said, I get the chocolate. I like getting the chocolate notes. I like getting all the dark fruit, all the roastiness, all the smokiness, but I like getting the chocolate too, and, and, I, and I, that's what I like about this one. Let's talk about mouthfeel real quick on this one. It's a little heavier. It's a little sweeter. The flavor's a little sweeter. Like I said, that just that bourbon kind of just rides, it just runs. I was saying it wasn't heavy. Uh, it wasn't overpowering. But I'm thinking now as I'm kind of sitting here talking about it, it is kind of overpowering. It is heavy. It, it is really heavy handed. It kind of, you taste too much bourbon. You taste too much oak. You don't taste enough of the chocolate. You don't taste enough of the smoky, roasty character, uh, malty characteristic. I feel like this, um, there's almost like a coffee vibe in this one that you don't get out of this one. You don't get the chocolate uh, in the bourbon barrel that you do in the regular version. You're not getting some of just those nuanced flavors. Like I said, initially I said it's not overpowering, but now as I kind of drink it, 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 it kind of just, it pushes everything else down. Maybe as it warms, I'm getting a little bit more of a sweeter vibe out of it than I'm getting out of this one. This one's more Russian, you know, imperial stout. Obviously, that's what it says. But this one has a little bit more of this sweetness in there. It's just, it, in my opinion, if I had to pick between the two, I would pick regular Dark Apparition. I'd take Dark Apparition over the barrel-aged version. And sometimes I'd pick the bourbon version because the bourbon adds like these nuances that you don't necessarily get out of the regular base beer. But I feel like with the bourbon barrel aged version of Dark Apparition, the bourbon's just pushing all those nuanced flavors, just shoving them down, and you're just not getting that full experience. And I would have loved to have gotten the same kind of, you know, sweet and dark chocolate vibes and the same, you know, smoky, roasty, malty characteristic, a little bit of dark fruit kind of rising up with just a nice complimentary bourbon flavor. But unfortunately, with the bourbon, barrel aged dark apparition i'm just getting too much bourbon barrel i'm getting too much bourbon too much of that molasses flavor and it just kills everything else unfortunately uh, i don't get much of the nuanced flavor it it's not like drinking bourbon it's obviously drinking a bourbon barrel aged stout but it's just losing the characteristics that make dark apparition so special and desert island i always like to do this desert island thing desert island if i had to pick one of the two my desert island pick would definitely just be regular, straight up dark apparition. 
All right, friends, that's been a couple of dark apparitions from Jackie O's. Let me know if there are any other Jackie O's beers I need to track down or, you know, have you had it? Do you have a favorite Ohio brewery, a favorite Jackie O's beer? Let me know in the comments down below while you're down there. If you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell because I'm here talking about beer twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's all for free for viewers just like you. I throw in these beer briefs that are, you know, I mostly do Michigan stuff, but sometimes the beer briefs are a good opportunity to check out beer adjacent stuff. And you'll never know about any of that stuff if you're not subscribed and getting notifications. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries. These guys are in Athens, Ohio. And until next time, don't forget to treat yourself. A little Draft Therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers.